mathematical, mathematical analysis. So I invite the Gopram Gatash and Pakil to be on that, so press the paper. Thank you. This is indeed a memorable moment for us. Let us begin to discuss the advantage. Why the advantage of the stage was seen? Lot of time should have sent the minister Shoyle to meet us for this. The reason of this contestant is that we are also in the situation. We hear this fact. They have entrusted us to the task of preparing the district capital of the country districts at the level. In a research state basically. Though we know our limitations, we have gladly accepted the challenge and the end of our practice. We therefore request the galaxy of mathematicians present here. We are with the pretentious here. The people of Orissa must be careful to represent the and his place. But it is such initiative that it will enable us not only to know the history of mathematics that we have shared, but we are speaking back here that is said, but also to make us aware that though mathematics and literature of two different classes of human knowledge can never remain in isolation. What is important to mention is that mathematical problems are so aesthetically composed that they pave the way for considering the socio political, cultural, and religious history of any society. And when we discuss about the enigma of any kind of human creativity, there is no doubt that the undercurrent is allowed to suit the mathematics. There we take this as an opportunity to make a confess that in the process of rewriting the history of Odia literature, the names of the representative and strengths would be always difficult. So this is your confession, and when we are going through mathematics, the rest of the catalogs, the catalogs of the manuscript, we really just when the experience was in time. We do not know whether we are going to mathematics, literature, philosophy, religion, music, or what it is. So now I request uh, my friend and uh, we both have a uh, very silent and many uh, friends. We have prepared this specific actor and see if we go to and see if we really see the protagonist mother is in charge of this manuscript section. See the chief of the manuscript section and the previous thing she was. This is the Odisha State Archives. Now I will press the table and give you the details. Okay. Okay. So, once again, a very good afternoon to all of you. After a very good tea, I welcome you all to my presentation. Serious. Fine. No, mathematics is not at all a serious subject. Not at all a boring subject. Please be cheerful. Please be cheerful in my presentation. It's my request. I would like to see a very good smile on all of you. This paper is a prepared relying on the Pamir manuscripts preserved in Odisha State Museum. We have the pleasure to say that this museum contains more than 20,000 Pamir manuscripts, and out of which the number of Ganita manuscripts is 248. These manuscripts are authored by around 50 mathematicians. Some manuscripts are written by individuals. Others are volumes edited by multiple authors. These include Advaita Darpan by Godanuri Rayaguru and Bhasa Kasacharya's 
Siddhanta Suramani Titi in Odia Subject. Other commentaries by Siddhanta Suramani include the ones by Sridhar Dejo, Chandrasekhar Pantan, and Srivastu Vasudeva. The largest number of copies of a single text are of Mandatya Bodhini Tika by Magun Pati. These have been collected from Ganjam, Puri, and Meghnapur. So, on the basis of these manuscripts, it is clear that Magun Pati's text was a much loved and oft used pedagogics research in Odia speaking religions. The total number of texts of Bhaskar Jain available as manuscripts in the museum written in the Odia script is 13. I want to skip up. Then, all the available manuscripts are textbooks. The titles of the texts are as such Sutra Sara, Lekha Sara, Pati Samudra, Nala Sagara, Khani Pati, Ganita Chopati, Oda Anka, Nava Sara, Pankira Sutra, Bharata Koda, Puthi Pata, Bija Ganita, Bharata Phala, and Naga Phala, etc. The Surya Siddhanta is the only manuscript related to the measurement of time. Bhavunya and the Ganita texts are accounts of measuring the boundaries of Bhavunya and Ganachwa villages respectively. Most of the manuscripts can be probably dated to the mid 18th to end of 19th century. The 19th century saw the opening of new kinds of educational institutions such as schools by the British administration and the missionaries of fulfilling their own faith beliefs. This process also included writing and publishing textbooks on both new and old subjects, including mathematics, science and literature, as part of a broader project of enlightenment. This saw changes in the coinage and measurement systems and the oils in which which were applied. Mathematical knowledge permits all aspects of individual and uh, communal lives. A popular understanding in Odisha equates mathematics with memory as the same goes Hara, Mura, Pheda, Visa, Au, Jete, Patra, Phasara, Phasara. It is a very popular saying in Odisha Hara, Mura, Pheda, Visa, Au, Jete, Patra, Phasara, Phasara. That means division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition are the only things worth studying. Everything else is insubstantial. This popular saying speaks that the real study begins when someone proves himself good at calculating. History acknowledges noticeable contribution of the people of Odia speaking tract between the time of Asoka and 18th century in field of maritime culture, sculpture, temple architecture, music, language, and literature. Proficiency of mathematicians in different genres of human knowledge that Pastavidya and Jyotirvidya, Samudravidya, Sangita Vidya, Vaidya Vidya, Nurtya Vidya, Bharicha Vidya, Samudra Vidya, Darsana Vidya, Chitra Vidya has been described in the ancient and medieval literatures. This is enough to ascertain the accomplishment of the people of all strata of the social orders to the traditional knowledge system. Needless to say, the key to the proficiency and sustainability of any branch of human creativity is the Sutra. In other words, Ganita Vidya. For teaching and learning are crucial to the continuation of any tradition and to the process of growth of consciousness of a people. But when Janapada education of different ideas of different periods began and who were the vanishes and uh, provincials happened to be a big question to all nations. 
Based on this understanding, we can sketch an outline of the traditions of mathematical discourse in Odisha. Mathematical tradition, mathematical, uh, traditional mathematical discourse. That is, who is a teacher, who is a learner, what are, what are to be learned, or what is Vidya? Who is a teacher? These are the fundamental questions the mathematicians have been pondering over time and again. To them, these are unanswered questions, rather they constitute the most challenging journey. However, they have provided some possible sutras how to win over this seemingly far achieving goal. Devidas says a teacher does not know art of painting for mere substitutions. Ganesh, is it okay? He is an old time reader, a yogi, a practitioner of Vidya. And Vidya is nothing but the God in himself who expresses his self through different forms, rich with strangeness. He ought to be a certain one like thou is a soul, an ever inquisitive, childlike, meditated along with the potential to penetrate the unseen truth that helps understanding the felt reality. Talking about Ganita Vidya, he further asserts that it is the most difficult one and the root of all Vidyas. Mandatta Vahri Nika of Maguni Party, a commentary of Bhaskara Charis, Siddhanta Shiromani, also speaks about the relationship among his teachers, learners, and videos. To Maguni, young children are unknown babies. When it is playful and fun, when they only they can learn a subject matter. The text of algebra is easy, is easy for children to study as it is clear to understand and Holds their curiosity. This text carries the essence of all mathematical knowledge. Now, what is arithmetic? Arithmetic is a form of happiness, alike. That the intelligentsia drive from work, and therefore the style of communication ought to be simple, poetic, discursive, and thought-provoking. While talking about the quality of a good teacher, almost all the mathematicians have agreed to a vital point: the lifestyle of the teacher should be simple and uh, of good humor to all concerned. He ought to be a versatile one having good at the art of storytelling, singing, abhinav, along with him in depth knowledge in language, literature, ethics, religion, astronomy, and many more. These are the basic components that make an individual to be communicative to the people irrespective of their age, mindset, religion, and caste. The important concern in the context of teaching pedagogy is that a teacher ought to convert the chapter sala, chapter sala means the primary school, into a suit room where the children, as it is said, the unborn pots made of clay get their opportunities to be the people of success in the future. Here, contextually, voice of Devidas, one of the most efficient mathematicians in Odisha, needs to be mentioned. To him, mathematics is a prime snake that is swirling in the sky and says that the job of the mathematicians is to root in the earth in the same way that one cannot take snakes if one does not know the correct interpretation. Odysseus chapter 6 Chapter 6, the 
primary schools like that. What is this? Chattisal is uh, laboratories are primarily two kinds of knowledge systems language, literature, and mathematics. Lots into their studies on Sri Panchami or on Ganesha Chaturthi, the fourth day of the fortnight of the waxing moon of the month of Bhadravada. In many Ganita manuscripts, there is the mention of different stages of learning. Teaching and learning started with the alphabets. Learning mathematics was the second step of education in the chapter series. But what is important? Quantitative learning in the chapter series used to start with mathematics. We have descriptions of this process from two manuscripts by Siva Sankara Vikra. In Siva's words, one has to write well set letters in straight lines and make the heart as clear as mirror. According to Vikram, everyday learning has to start with mathematics and then only one may go on to the other subjects. Many manuscripts, many manuscripts carry information about the order of acquiring mathematical knowledge with some variations as to the succession of subjects. But the total content is more or less uniform. Letters, numbers, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, buying, and selling, etc. Regarding calculations and measurements, the topics include where gauris, rupees, or tanka, gold, land, paddy, curry, chattalmi, etc. Teaching and learning Ganita Vidya is the toughest exercise for both students and teachers. In comparison with many other branches of human knowledge, today, in the words of Bhagavad Party, students are taught how to make this toughest exercise more easier and pleasant. The teachers of Patisaras have paved the way. They have mostly followed the traditional style of communication and tried sincerely to move the students' mindset by applying almost all the spectrum show vibrating components know how like song and music, story, drawing, abhinaya, etc. Thus, the questions themselves become certain around words, tunes, dances, tales, and ways of performances. It's sort around experiences. Thus, the ways our Odia mathematicians frame questions in their texts reflects a certain plurality and richness of worldly experiences and admit this rich understanding in their mathematical discussions. Thus, an apparently difficult to understand discipline becomes easy, simple, and beautiful. This then gets reflected in the experiences of living that no longer seems full of tiredness and uh, idiom by getting a deeper understanding of the light, light world through mathematics. Our only mathematicians understood this radical nature of mathematicians, hence, for them, this apparently abstruse discipline is suffused with rasam and a field and a field with songs, music, stories, drawing, philosophy, religious ideas, dance, and performances. To understand uh, the relationship between mathematics and Russia uh, Bodha, Russia Bodha, we need to revisit numbers. Our only mathematicians have symbolized numbers with names of mythological characters, various substances, and astronomical objects. On pursuing these Ganita manuscripts, it feels as if these mathematicians were poets, musicians, and philosophers as well. Apart from just three texts, the rest of the manuscripts in the collection of the Odisha State Museum are filled with poetry and music. The questions are in verse, set to various ragas. They are Mangala Kuchari, Kedara, Dhanasri, Kamodi, etc. 
The abhanas used to ask questions in verse set in tune and the students then learn by reciting. The chatters, the chatter signs must have originated with the sharp sexual voices of children. Listening to these persons in the in tune would have helped children mesmerize the Vidya easily through the mnemonic device device of the sutras. The possibility of forgetting the subject matters thus would have been minimized. It is for this reason that traditionally sastras, philosophical texts, grammars, and lexicons were composed in meter. Interestingly, although the questions in the Odia Ganita manuscripts are in verse, the answers and the solutions are given in prose. In some manuscripts, are prose, prose in absent, but the verses are prose in nature. There is a reason behind these choices. Exposition of ideas is often easier in prose, allowing for more detailed narration. Prose slows down the Tempestuous flow of thoughts and helps us recognize and understand difficult ideas. This might not always be possible with the material compositions. We may turn this detailing as a commentary. The prose in this Ganita manuscripts prove us with excellent examples of medieval Odia prose style. The following extract from Akka Manasa Sutra might be instructive as an illustration. We also need to discuss the ways in which philosophical ideas, poetry, music, aesthetics, and prose have been aesthetically integrated in the Ganita manuscripts. In many of the narrative questions of this text, the characters are Radha, Krishna, and Gopis. Gopo on the banks of Mount Yamuna is their playground. This uh, Madhuruvara or place of affection between Radha and Krishna and Gopis and Krishna is intimately related to the emotional aspects of Vaishnava worship. The Ganita manuscripts point out the fact that the Vaishnava religion traditions were suffused amongst all other aspects of social life in Odia speaking religions. For example, in one of the Ganita texts, it is composed that uh, in a Chaukisa is mathematical songs in mathematical songs and their solutions in the guise of conversations between Radha and Krishna, the cowherd boys and the gopis. The following is an example of a song narrated uh, around the pieces that Radha and the gopis offer Krishna. Without knowing how many gopis there were in Vrindavan, the first gopi gave one kiss to Krishna, the second offered two, the third smacked three, and so on. As these numbers went on increasing, the total number of kisses reached 12, 1, 2, 3, 8, double, 0, 8, double, 0, like that. How do we calculate the number of gopis? The answer is 16,000. This is according to Ganita Manuscript number, accession number is G1029. Not only Sri Krishna in many of the mathematical problems discussed, the subjects are related to the worship of uh, Siva and Sakti. For example, many of questions involved are related to devotees offering Champa flowers and uh, bell leaves to Siva. Many of these carry descriptions of the works in Ramayana and Mahabharata and include songs related to events and numbers of soldiers. <coughs> in another song, a believer sacrificed goats for a year to the Devi, which with which fulfillment as an objective. In all these texts, the Apparitions used are related to Chadha Uttara, ascending and descending numbers. So, in these texts, the students having gained 
familiarity with the Puranas, mid characters from the from their mid characters from their characters again and simultaneously solve mathematical problems as well. In order to popularize mathematics, the writers adopted thoughts forms such as Chaudhisa and Koyi. The, the relevant Chaudhisas among us, the Ganodya manuscripts number more than 15. More or less, or, or more or less, all the famous mathematicians composed Chaudhisas. These are often described as Hastavaras or having been composed as small, e.g., but purposefully written diversions from the more strenuous task of composing proper mathematical text and the discourse surrounding them. The Chaudhisas of Devi Dasa, Vikrama, Balabhadra, Dharani Dhara, and Bhagavan may be seen in this light. One important character of this Ganita manuscript is that they are suffused with domestically and tales of quotidian lives. Almost all the persons in these texts carry stories within them that seem so contain both uh, uh, both conflicts and their resolutions. These resolutions are often based around sutras. A student pursuing and using these texts has lessons to the problems through songs, set to tunes, getting entangled in the way of narrative that is content and then seeks to be free of this. This involves solving the song in question. The ability and resolution depends upon the discipline and the mastery of the student. But such competencies are theoretically open to all. Again, these stories are not completely fiction, fictional or imaginary. These are based on real life social issues and concerns. I am giving one or two examples only here, but uh, in my paper, so many examples are there. Almost all the Ganita manuscripts discuss the topic of usury. One, ordinary life was full of challenges. Often people were forced to get into debt by borrowing cash and grains from money lenders and used to pay back with interest. The interests were of many kinds calculated as an equivalence to the original sum at the fraction of 1, 5, 2, etc. or at a compounded interest. Land, valuables and cattle were also kept as mortgages. Often handouts were also supplied. Some used to work as a funded labor for paying up debts. Two, we also get descriptions of seafaring merchants pursuing up for trade on boats and ships and rivers and the seas. On uh, returning from overseas, often they were penniless, sourcing money for uh, commerce becomes essential. They were often polygamous and uh, turned to their many wives for borrowing cash. This was then written according to agreements. In one sum, the port of Paradis at the mouth of Mahanadi River is mentioned. And uh, so many examples are there like this in our collection. Now, generally, an impression had been created among us children that mathematics was a very difficult subject. Mathematicians tried with a lot of care to break this notion. They had great desire for truth and hence created many interesting questions for children. For example, there is a tank full of water, a lotus bird is trying to get out of the water full of mud. Inside the water body, uh, it has many enemies like tortoise, snakes and pieces. But because of its love of the swarm, it uh, uh, persistently tries to come up at a certain pace. How many days will it take to break free of the water and flower? A lion is uh, chasing an elephant for the meal. Both are running in the same direction. How much time will the white cat take to catch the puzzle? Like this, all the uh, uh, 
uh, mathematics, interest in mathematics is uh, for the uh, children. And uh, apart from this, the manuscripts also contain sections on the magic of mathematics and uh, mental maths. 909 the zero was picked by the rabbit. What was left and uh, how much was taken? In uh, very the, the, the preceding is just one example of uh, such questions. Like in Odisha, there is a very popular saying, I mean, the crows has taken zero from nine nine zero. And how much? Now is there. So the, this type of question this type of uh, say is uh, going on very popularly in uh, Odisha. In conclusion, it can be said about mathematics that it is a form of knowledge that carries within itself the principles of answers to all questions that can be raised by an individual's consciousness. Thus, it carries within itself a framework for generating creativity. To use the language of David Das, it is like a flying snake. It is only those with clear hearts and minds that are able to tame this mighty serpent. Surely, those who are able to domesticate such a viper are created. The Ganita manuscripts from Odisha tell us stories of such master snake charm. And uh, we have uh, taken all these uh, things from when we, we are prepared, preparing the descriptive catalog of uh, our collection. And we have done descriptive catalogs like this from our collections. And uh, what I said, we have uh, 248 uh, mathematics manuscripts out of 20,000 manuscripts. And uh, within this uh, 25,000 uh, 20, uh, manuscripts, we have uh, more than 50,000 subjects are there. And uh, Professor uh, Das has taken so much of pain for doing this uh, descriptive catalog like this. What is? Yes. Uh, yeah, and uh, you have uh, seen the descriptive catalog, the style of descriptive catalog, what, uh, what are uh, the uh, things uh, there within that uh, descriptive catalog. And I think uh, future work on mathematics uh, can go for this. Uh, we will research on uh, Siddhanta Darpan by Samantha Chandrasekhar, who has uh, uh, done the sky mapping with the help of a small bamboo pole and a T shape uh, stick. And uh, fortunately, all these uh, things are, uh, 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 all these uh, things, uh, I am the first again. And uh, all these things are still with me in my museum. And um, he is very famous uh, for uh, this pi. And his uh, uh, rule of pi is universally accepted at, uh, till now also. And um, uh, so many manuscripts on uh, this uh, Siddhanta Dharma is uh, available with us. And uh, if you desire, uh, I think uh, nobody has done such research work on this uh, manuscript. He has written uh, some uh, Sanskrit uh, slokos and it is already translated in English. But nobody, I think uh, nobody has done a vivid work on this family, uh, how he became uh, successful for measuring the sky with the help of a bamboo pole and uh, a tea shape uh, uh, wooden uh, stick. Then uh, my next uh, dream for future uh, in connection with mathematics is to be done, works will be done on Madhura Panjins. Madhura Panjins, uh, I mean uh, the, the records, records of uh, Srimandira, Jagannath temple Srimandira. Uh, uh, I have uh, more than uh, 300, 400 public manuscripts on uh, this Madhura Panjins and uh, so many interesting uh, things are there. See how uh, the, uh, the, the, the entire expenditure from 12th century AD till now, uh, the entire expenditure of car festival, whatever, and the day to day expenditure, uh, the, the, they, are, they were using the, their 
ancient uh, terms, mathematical terms uh, in the public manuscripts. And uh, very interestingly, uh, the preparation process of this Mahabharata, they just uh, measure this part, um, uh, this uh, part. Uh, uh, the preparation process is something unique. I mean, uh, the, the big one will be in the down and chronologically more than 100 parts will be there and uh, first of all, the last one is to be uh, uh, brought out. So, they also, uh, uh, some uh, measuring uh, point of this uh, making of pot is there in Madhara Gandhi. So, we can go for this and uh, how they, they were giving the land, the money to the sepulchers of the uh, temple, temple and uh, Raja Jagannath. All things are there in that uh, Madhara Pandi in the Bhasa Pandit manuscripts and uh, these manuscripts are not yet published. Then next, uh, uh, this is also my dream in fact. And uh, so many Sarpasastra manuscripts are there with me, like uh, more than 200. Uh, uh, I think I have uh, sold this uh, manuscript to Sentri Babu. And um, in Sarpasastra manuscripts, uh, here only I, I gained this idea um, after uh, listening the papers from you people that uh, the, uh, in, in our Sarpasastra manuscripts, there are so many things on. Uh, the making of design and uh, measurement of the Odisan style of temples uh, that is Triratha, Pancharatha, Saptaratha, Nabaratha, like that. And, uh, and very interestingly, I have, uh, I, I just remember more than 10 to 15 public manuscripts, the design of the Odisan temples are there. And I have uh, made uh, this year only after listening uh, your paper uh, with the help of Ganesh. So I have been able to give that uh, family uh, temple uh, picture. So to give uh, a small idea that uh, this is the Angasikara Sari, Angasikara style of Odisan temple. The temple in the uh, in the body of the, uh, the temples in the body of the temple. So all the, all the uh, design rules have been written in the Sirpa Sastra manuscripts, calculation, measurement and uh, all these things. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Sai is ready to give answers. Sai is minister. He was the minister of Kirindra Day of 1550 uh, to 1585. They were the last monastery. The text, the Sanskrit text. And the date is in there. In my paper, the date is mentioned there. All the dates. And 13 manuscripts are there, both bilingual, Sanskrit and Oriya. One important text is Magali Patti's Siddhanta Siromana. The method of so, uh, the, the last part is in, in English, and the, and the explanation and detail, the commentary is in Oriya. And this is this is the main for and he has already confessed that why I am going to make the community of this text. I want to popularize the mathematics among the copy and also the students. That was his purpose. This is clear to mention many times in this text. And Ilyabhuti uh, Sutra has been translated by 26 mathematicians. One local at night of 17th and 18th century. Uh, his text is very, very popular, and in state uh, uh, museum, uh, the number of uh, eleven student translations is 16. And thanks to Sentry, he is also uh, assigning us to edit this text, and this text was also published in 1920 and 21 like that, but it has not been edited now. And we are trying to edit this text, it is very, very popular in the ASA. And this text also has been uh, uh, translated uh, by more than 20 GVN sets. And this shows how popular mathematics was in the medieval Buddhism. And you will be surprised to know all of the texts besides except G are uh, composed in poetry and prose. All of the texts. 
and they are composed in different ragdolls and ragdolls. So for memorizing, keeping in memory, in a physical most of these uh, uh, schools, they have adapted this kind of uh, presentation. And Chandra's diagram is simply, simply, simply amazing, completely different from any other style of Sindhi, Pan uh, Indian perspectives. Let me enjoy this approach. Let me enjoy this approach to only sing only one can, only one mother. Now just see. Don't 
always take it too seriously. Sometimes we just use the name Elatopic, but it's a very common and very well known. It's easy to get it, it's easy to get it. But the content is very, very different. So. Yes. This time I have time to run out the board for it each time, but, but in no style. Because it's very difficult to switch it when you switch that off. Thank you, sir, for the excellent presentation. Actually, I came to know after the presentation that the Odisha's kind of Nakamaki history is very very much different from the other languages. No, I don't think so. Why? Because I think that it's, 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 Music and the yes, music, stories, and so 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 You yes. see how Vaishnavism was very much, very much there in Indonesia, very rich by Vaishnavite tradition. And they were adding their practice, how to capture the government to Vaishnava philosophy, rather than Krishna. They have long after things that you do there in all the documents that they have used there, rather than Krishna's memory. My question is that. Actually, this type of uh, work is uh, common with the other languages like the Bengali and the Bengali. Yes, they are also there in India. Is the same procedure is followed in there? They are... Yes, it is there in India, but I do not know what <coughs> that is in other languages. And in uh, what centuries these things are developed? In what centuries these things are developed? No. <laughs> I, I think. You know. No, because, because of uh, colonial education. That that is an investigation, and as you say, you have been to know that uh, uh, in 19th century, most of the printed texts that are also translated from the manuscript, many many printed texts, and Bolis, Chaudis, Chaupadi, Koili, Chita, Chita translated. We have produced they used these different forms, text, these poetic forms, very very popular in the earlier. So they have they have used all of the resources, all styles of communication. So that is the specificity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have got one original mathematics um, uh, manuscript with the other standards for the district series. So that you have a good knowledge in music. Otherwise, you do not have a good grounding in using it, you cannot translate those texts. So, that is why mathematicians and literature should be sit together and abstract the text. So that, so, that is most important. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank
this in music and also help us to understand the, understand the texts which are basically written in verse, written in verse because we have a verse tradition, the textual tradition which is basically founded in verse. It's about uh, merchant, merchant documents of Kilakarai on the east coast of Kapil. 